Hello beautiful friends, it's Erica here to do another installment of my soul growth series that I do periodically here on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pisces energy. Now this is um, something I also do every month in my soul growth accelerator subscription. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen me do a video like this yet, then do go check out. I have a playlist put together for you here on the channel where I have put all I think all of the soul growth videos I've done so far. If not, there's a bunch there already. Um, I don't know if all of them are in there, but do go check that out as there are more already available for you here on YouTube. And so we're going to take a look at Pisces energy and an aspect of soul growth. Now, this is for someone who may have Pisces in their chart um, or multiple personal planets in Pisces. This also can relate to understanding when some of the major personal planets happen to be in Pisces energy, like the sun or the moon or Venus happens to be transiting through Pisces. This can be examples of things that could come up for you during that particular transit and how it's affecting you personally. So um, these are also not time frame specific. So you may, as you're watching this, have already gone through this aspect of Pisces soul growth. Uh, you may be going through it now or you may be going through it in the future. And um, I feel like there was one other thing I wanted to say. Maybe that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. So we're going to take a look at the scenario. Oh, and that's the other thing is this is not scenario specific. There may be different scenarios that come in that I may speak to during this reading, but the way that these soul growth lessons come in, they can come in in multiple ways. They can come in, for example, in our relationships. They can come in in our professional life. They can come in in our um, personal soul journey for growth, facing fears, things like that. So don't get hung up on the actual scenarios as much as um, just the energies and apply them in your life the way that they may make sense. So with this, the overall theme we have coming out here is the star card. How has it affected, how has this affected the past? And we have the high priestess. Wow, two majors. And how is it affecting the present? And that is the Six of Wands. And when I say the present, I don't mean the moment you're watching this video. I mean at the time of you having this lesson, okay? So what we have here is an energy of destiny and hope, wishes coming true, healing possibly. And, um, and with this High Priestess, the way that this has affected the past, it's almost like there could be something here where you're ready to get some recognition for your what you've known all along what you've known has been on your past maybe you've had a, an intuition about something and you haven't been able to see the results of it yet and all of a sudden here there could be some tangible results showing up with the six of wands this is public recognition this is also an energy of um victory so I'm feeling a karmic energy, karmic, karmic justice kind of energy coming through, but let's keep going and get more to what is coming up here for Pisces soul growth. The theme here is the sacred temple. How it's affected the past is the consciousness of deserving and the present is the intention of discovery. Wow. So to me, this is a situation where you're ready to learn new things about yourself. You're ready to get revealed to you. Maybe what you haven't seen before, Pisces. Um, there is a scenario that maybe you have held out this consciousness of deserving something and maybe you haven't been showing your emotions or revealing your cards exactly in a situation but all of a sudden you're now ready to approach make an approach be recognized um, for what you've figured out and what you have discovered on your journey of going deep within your intuition all right, let's get some more and see. This is an interesting reading, Pisces. Let's get some more here for the overall theme. Bring love into the situation. All right. So bring love into the situation. 
is a new destined cycle of either love or relationship, friendship, family, romantic relationship, or simply something that's aligned for you spiritually that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling, something that's going to make you happy. How has this affected the past? Show the world the real you. See, yeah, you haven't been... This is the new moon in Aquarius and the full moon in Aquarius. Fascinating that you're betting the two Aquarius energies in this deck. Let me see how it's affecting the present as luck is on your side, the new moon in Sagittarius. So you have a brand new cycle of learning more about yourself, discovering possibly um, more of what you're meant to do. You could be getting recognized here, but it's almost like, You may have revealed yourself, Pisces, to somebody that wasn't showing themselves completely to you. Things were maybe hidden and you realized that you deserved better. And now you're aligning with your destined love or your destined emotional happiness, even if it's not a love relationship. But you are getting this energy of luck is on your side. So the universe is conspiring to help you discover more about what you're here to be recognized for. This is an interesting reading. Let me get um, some more because this is about the revelations and the new learning that are coming in for you with this particular aspect of your growth. So then we're also getting the nut. So we're getting the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands. So what's happening here? Wow. So what I'm feeling is there's a situation that possibly was, you didn't know everything fully going on and you took a, you took a risk, you took some, some effort and you, you were honest and, sh and revealing all of who you really are and realizing that possibly another person in the situation, maybe in this relationship, if it's a relationship of any kind, wasn't really showing their cards, but here it is that this is about all you can do is be honest and open and reveal who you really are to people when it comes to relationships or when it comes to the world. And all of a sudden it's like you you're discovering that by doing this, all of a sudden things start to turn in your favor, not being afraid to hide who you really are. Even if the other person, if it's a relationship, hasn't been showing who they really are, you have to be authentic. You have to be you. And if somebody's not revealing who they are to you, then you got to move on, right? But to me, the lesson that's coming in here is by being loving, being open, being open with your emotions, suddenly there's an offer coming forward here with this Knight of Pentacles and likely something possibly that you've even been waiting for. So let's get another card on the revelation that you're having, this new learning. Because some of you may have been hiding more of who you really were. Maybe you were afraid to reveal things. Maybe you weren't, you know, being too open. But then suddenly you were open and it's all of a sudden brought forth this, like, wow. That wow energy with the discovery card and the six of wands energy, luck being on your side. Somebody needed you to be authentic, Pisces. Maybe it was you, but... That's a, a definite message of authenticity and openness. And here's that transformation energy. It's a cycle of transformation. So somebody here could be coming forward with an offer of love to you, Pisces, in this situation that they've now discovered how much you really mean to them, possibly. They're bringing a sincere offer and all of a sudden they are coming through as transformed. But it took you understanding your worth and your value and being completely authentic in order to bring about this cycle of transformation in whatever situation this is for you. Let's get another card on the re revelation that you're having in this growth lesson. It's time to take action. So by taking that action, you started a new cycle in whatever situation this has been. 
you know, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be myself and I'm going to be honest. And if it's not aligned, then I'm going to continue on with my spiritual path. But now suddenly almost like someone could be seeing your, your worth and, and your, and recognizing your light. It's not as much your worth as it is your light is what I'm hearing. Let's see. Um, what the overall spiritual lesson is for you, Pisces. We have the Seven of Wands, followed by the Lovers, okay, followed by the Three of Cups. So here's what it is. You dropped your guard. You were open. You were honest. You showed who you really were. You showed how you really felt. You took action on that. And here it is bringing in this love and this celebration. But you were guarded before. You were defensive before. You had your defenses up. You weren't revealing anything, but then you did. And now it's bringing about a transformation. This is absolutely beautiful. Pisces, let's get another message on your overall spiritual lesson. The intention of taking steps. Check that out. Yeah, instead of staying guarded, instead of staying defensive, instead of staying hidden, you set the ball in motion not knowing what would happen. You didn't know, possibly by revealing how you feel about a certain relationship in your life, an important spiritual relationship, to attract the type of spiritual partnership that is of the highest vibration worth celebrating. It's about letting down your guard. You took some steps to do that, and it's you're now seeing the results of that effort and of that, of that, of that step. And let's get a final message here about the overall spiritual lesson here for you, Pisces. Get one card. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, it's hard to hold yourself back. It's hard to keep yourself closed up. And by you taking those steps, you actually closed out a cycle that was difficult that's now beginning a new cycle, one that is based in transformation, one that is about rebirth. And so what you learned by this experience is that you likely feel a sense of massive relief having been authentic, even if maybe that didn't turn out the way you hoped, right? You at least had to be authentic and honest and open. And now you are absolutely in a place where you're going to be bringing in someone that will see your light, see your vibration, Pisces, see your, see your light because you're not dimming it anymore. You're not hiding it. You're not shielding your light. You're absolutely letting it out. And so the right people will be attracted to that. All right, lovely souls. I hope that was helpful. Uh, do go check out the other playlist, the other videos on the playlist. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.